Greetings one and all and welcome to my lounge. If you're new around here, my name's Rashenda and I generally vlog about all things budget food because I am trying to save up for a deposit for a house on my own, which is very difficult whilst renting. So I post a lot of food hauls and budget recipes, but I also post about general budgeting in life because I've realised that just keeping it to food is not the way for me because I can go off piece and start spending left, right and centre, which is no good. If you're one of my regular viewers, hello, lovely to see you again. Thank you for all your support over recent weeks. If you were not aware, my mum passed away without warning so that has been a bit of a trauma but my family and my friends have pulled round and they've been absolutely amazing so the funeral's on monday and i did have a work trip planned on the following saturday for four nights to milan i had been invited to a shipping conference with one of my clients because they're launching a new product there and because of what had been happening with mum i wasn't 100 percent sure if i should go and actually at one point i did completely cancel it but my client stroke friend who I'd be going with she said look it'd probably do the world good the offer's still there the flights haven't been booked yet so do you know what I've decided to go my diary was fairly empty so we're going to Milan as a little treat to perk myself up I decided to do a little charity shop challenge I decided to spend no more than £50. I had a £50 budget to get an entire capsule summer wardrobe for my city break to Milan. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what I bought from the charity shops for my £50 budget. And then we're going to do a little try on sesh. I'd love to know what you think of my outfit. So please do let me know in the comments, good or bad. I can take it on the chin. Right, let's go. I have the bag, the bag of joy right here. Now weather wise at the moment in the UK is anything between 14 degrees and 16 degrees at the moment and it's end of May nearly June so still a bit cold in the UK but I checked the weather forecast in Milan and for when I'm going to be there it's going to be anything between 24 degrees and 26 degrees so quite a bit hotter although I am conscious that in the evenings I might need a cardigan or a light coat because it still might get a bit chilly and I do I do get cold, I'm not going to lie, I'm one of those cold people. First thing I got was this amazing perfect holiday bag. This was from Mencap, £3.50. My local charity shops in Old Catton supplied me with these. And this is beautiful little wicker round basket bag. How lovely is that? It's got a little clip. A little bit dirty inside but I'm going to see if I can clean that up. It's not the end of the world. Originally from a brand called Colette by Colette. Heyman. I know nothing about it but just thought it was super cute. I do not believe that's real leather. That looks like UPVC to me or whatever the equivalent is. PVC? PVC. UPVC is windows. Second item was more of an outerwear piece that I could potentially layer up when it might be a bit colder and it is a lightweight jacket originally from Topshop size small so it'll be interesting to see how this fits i've kept my receipt just in case four pound fifty so as you can see that's a very lightweight olive color jacket which i thought could look really cute like over a little dress or with some linen trousers or some shorts i just thought yeah that would look lovely third item was just a little top to sort of muck around in and it's the same kind of colourway. You'll see that I've gone for kind of olive greens, creams and whites in my colourway because it is going to be a capsule collection that I can mix and match all the different items in. That's the plan anyway and keep my suitcase quite small. So this originally was from Indigo Collection. I'm not sure what that brand is. I have a feeling it's a supermarket brand but please let me know if you do know. This one was £3.50 from Mencap and it's kind of this sort of I don't know what you'd call it, sweatshirt material, but very thin, very nice. Again, I could sort of tuck that in with shorts or some linen trousers or some smart white trousers and that will look amazing. So I am planning to add a couple of items I've got in my own wardrobe to my capsule collection, which I'll show you right at the end, but I think they're going to work and it'd be silly not to. I don't own a pair of shorts in my main wardrobe, so I got these ones. 
These again for a men cap, old cotton. See those? They look like little linen beigey shorts, sort of tailored, look quite nice, don't they? They look nice once they've had a steam. They're from a brand called Esmara. Don't know anything about that. Again, if you know, let me know. They are a size 10. I'm not a 10, I'm a 12. Do that test around your neck. Do you know about that? Apparently that if you can get it around your neck, you should be able to get it around your hips. Who knows? So I need to try those on. What's nice about these is that they're brand new with tags. Nobody's ever worn them. Crazy. Um, and they were £3.50. The next item I thought was super chic and could be worn with everything that I've got. As per the nature of the capsule wardrobe concept. This was £4, again from Mencap. Really cute little knitted cardigan. Look at that. So cute. I'm imagining that with either the shorts or some fitted white trousers in the evening with some nice big white earrings. I've got ones that look like flowers. I thought that would look absolutely stunning. Got lovely little buttons down it. Let's have a look to see if there's any information on the brand. If there's any... I can't see anything. And to be honest, it looks hand-knitted to me, but it might not be. Cannot see any labels. And look at the inside. What would, you, what would you say? Would you think that's handmade? Absolutely lovely. So happy with that piece. Probably my favourite piece. If I'm going to pick a favourite, it's going to be that one. This one I got last minute when I was at the till. I saw it out the corner of my eye and thought that could really work for a city break Italian holiday type vibe. Um, and it was £4, a large, 55% linen and 45% cotton. And is actually a brand. It's Pierre Cardin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Pierre Cardin. So again, from Mencap, this one is £4. And it says it's a large. It looks like it's going to fit. Never can be too sure, though, in the arms. But I thought that was too good to resist. Some lovely detail, actually. Let me just quickly show you. Look at those buttons. They're all covered with the linen and wool. Was it linen and wool? Let's have a quick reminder. Linen and cotton. Lovely fabric. Oh, this is good. Forgot all about this. This is a white linen shirt dress, £4.50 in large. Probably going to drown me, but maybe with a belt. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Really nice. The buttons have got fabric covering them slightly. And then they've got these sort of ties at the bottom. Let's have a look. There's no label in it. It did cost me £4.50 from Mencap. Is there any, another label in here? Let's have a quick look, see if we can see any identifying information about it. Can't see anything in there. Not, nothing at all. But it feels linen-y to me, or cotton. And very, very apt city, hot, mini-break vibes. And this, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it. I might return it or pass it on to a friend. But I'm going to try it on later in the try on and see. It says it's made in Italy, which I thought was wonderful. And it was £3 from Mencap. Let me show you this. So it's got little straps there and the arms kind of draped down. And it's got a lovely lace sleeve and it's kind of this olivey green greyish colour. And this is the fabric. Look at that. It looks nice. It could be pretty. I'm not sure about it because I'm not sure about the ne neckline and it's not my usual style, but perhaps with the right accessories it could be good. I can't see any other labels in here. Oh yes, there is a label. What's this? Okay, not that exciting. It's 58% Vicos and 42% Polamide. Both plastics, never mind, but made in Italy. Um, very old label there. It says it's a size 8. I'm not a size 8 as we know. Usually 12 to 14. So let's see how that works out for us. But very nice and floaty in case it's extremely hot. I might look grumpy in that. Because the boobies are growing. So we'll see. We'll try it on. Oh, then we've got some nice linen-y trousers. Again in this beautiful olive green colour. Really nice. Elasticated waist, which I really like because I am a 12 to 14 and I do like to eat. So these are originally from Sheen, so probably not linen, I would imagine. And they were £3 from Mencap. See if there's any fabric information in here. Very much doubt it's linen. Let's have a look. Oh, 
do you know what? It's a hundred percent cotton. That is incredible from fast fashion place. But lovely, and they've got sort of tapered ankles, elasticated waist, beautiful colour. They're gonna do me nicely for my little capsule wardrobe. Oh, this is a special piece. I thought this got a bit of character to it. I showed it to my sister. She said, are we getting married? I'm not, but I am going to Milan. So this was a size 12, originally from ASOS, but I got it from Men Camp for £4. Men Camp, shall I say. And it's polyester, of course, but look, very groovy. Could look amazing with some of the bits that I've got. Okay. So this is a beautiful little dress that I got, men cap, £4.50, originally misguided, size 10, so I'm not sure it's going to fit, but it's worth a try. It's a short little tea dress, and it's got lovely polka dot detailing on there with a small little cap of a sleeve, and that's v-neck. Got some little buttons down it, all the way down. What I quite like about these, when they do have the buttons all the way down, you can almost use them like a shirt, an overshirt, if you unbutton all of the buttons as well. So that could give us some options. Very pretty little dress. This dress was originally Primark, I believe. It was, size 8, so again, not sure if it's going to fit. £3.50 and it's a cream coloured smock dress. Quite simple, bit of a V on the neck slightly puffed sleeves and then it's gathered here at the wrist and it's probably knee length I'd say very light I'm assuming it's going to be made of some kind of plastic but let's check and have a look size 8 that's the only thing that concerns me wash with other colours yeah lovely what have we got here vicos and polyamide yes so not very breathable but it's quite light so I might get away with that Two more things left to show you before we then embark on the bits that I might add into the capsule and then we're going to do a bit of a try on. So thanks for bearing with me so far. This is a new look small cardigan, £3.50 from Men Cap, but it's cool. I don't know what this fabric is called, but it's bobbly and fun. I feel like a little cheap in it. I've already tried it on. This is very much my thing, even though it's a small, but what do you think? I think it's okay. Hello, I'm here in Milan. I'm here with a coffee. I might be having a gelato, maybe some pasta, maybe some pizza. Stylish, chic, holiday. What do you think? Do you like this cardigan? Hope you do. And then the final little item I got in the haul was this beautiful dress. This is a maxi dress and it's sort of prairie style. So there's quite a few ruffles and things. Now originally it's a size 10. We'll see how we get on from Primark. £5.50 in the charity shop, which I still didn't think was too bad for a maxi dress. So it's long sleeve, which I like in my old age, really. Prefer that, older age. And can you button everything up? Yes, you can button it up right to the top, which I do like that look. Look, there it is, and they're green olive buttons. And it's very long with a frill at the bottom. And the pattern is kind of daisies and floral. Yes, what do you think? Has that got Milan vibes? So that's everything I got. £50 spent or thereabouts. What's your favourite piece? Let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going to take you upstairs for a bit of a try on. Let's go. Oh! Getting old, shouldn't be sitting on the floor. Whoop. So there's one, two, three, four, five items from my own wardrobe that I'm gonna pack for my Milan city break, holiday, work shenanigans. I'm gonna show you what those are, then we're gonna try a few bits on. Hello, welcome to my boudoir. This is what we're looking at. Wardrobe, mirror, cat outfits so these are the five extra pieces i'm going to take on holly bobs with me um actually i've got to add some trainers in haven't i so that's going to be six extra pieces one moment 
Okie doke, that's a bit better. So there's six extra pieces. Please accept my sincere apologies for saying it was five. It was a complete lie. So I've already owned these little sandals. They're by a brand called Pieces. These are actually a size too large for me, but they fit really well. So we're not quibbling that. As you can see, there's a lovely little hessian straw detail there. And they are going to be the smart sandal of the trip. And then I am also going to take some trusty white trainers i got ages ago for marks and spencer they're just really stylish and timeless and will go with everything and i can march around the city in that in the day no problem then i'm going to take these large sort of flouncy suit trousers i believe they were from sheen originally um along with this which are is from sheen but i didn't buy it from sheen i actually got it from vinted and it's just a white waistcoat and it kind of goes with those trousers and we could mix and match it with other things and then the final two pieces, I'm going to take this little matching set because it is made of cotton and it's really nice. So I've got a little leopard print blouse and a leopard print skirt. So I've got four nights, five days in Milan. Let's try a few outfits on to see what I can wear each day and evening. <music> Blimineck, I almost forgot the accessories as well completely forgot to show you so i'm definitely going to take these earrings they're like floral they're going to be coming with me and they're white perfect i'm going to take these aviator sunglasses from sheen i'm going to take these little white skinny sunglasses from vinted and these are old h&m sunglasses and i'm going to take a leopard print scarf as well the worst fashion blogger ever
meetings. Okay, a little recap. So pretty much everything I said at the beginning, I was taking as extras. I'm not actually going to take. They didn't really work. So I'm not taking the black sandals. I'm not taking the white trouser suit with the waistcoat. And I'm not taking this. Although this is fabulous. It's just, I don't think it's going to work with that colour scheme. I might be wrong. I could throw it in and, and see. But I think it might be overkill for the amount of time we're there. Things are going to go back. This Primark little dress. Too tight around the boobs. This little knitted number. Gorgeous. But too tight around the arms. And didn't like the neckline. This little dress, gorgeous, would have been fabulous, but size eight, way too tight. I felt like I was working in a sausage machine looking down there. This top didn't work. The neckline, it's just not the life for me. It's going to go back. And then these beautiful shorts I absolutely loved, but didn't fit too small, size 12. I'm obviously a size 14 now. So they're going to go back. I'm going to try and see if I can find another pair of beige stroke white linen trousers to complete everything. But other than that, that's pretty much going to be my wardrobe. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to take the big puffy white skirt because of space. But I will show you in a moment exactly what I am going to take. I feel terrible taking things back to a charity shop, but what can be done? I need to. So it's going to be happening. I've been to the charity shop. The woman was very nice about the return. Um, it's the same woman who was serving me, who served me when I bought everything. So she was cool. I showed her some of the photos of our little shoot today. She was loving it, of some of the items that I have kept. So all's well that ends well. I got £18.50 returned to my card. But then I went to the charity shop next door to see if they had some other trousers that were actually going to fit me and some shorts. And I found something amazing. £14 for these three four items let me show you excuse the messiness of everything so the best thing has got to be this little suit i'll try this on shortly i found it in two different sections i found the shorts in the short section and the blazer in the blazer section they didn't put them together so two pound fifty on the shorts papaya size 14 should fit we hope and it's beige with kind of a light cream pinstripe running through it and the jacket obviously matches. Look at this, all needs a bit of a steam. Feels very linen-y, which I think is what we're going for. Look, same thing, papaya, 14 pounds. Um, four, size 14, sorry, five pounds. So seven pounds 50 for the whole thing. Fabric wise, what we're looking at? Oh, cotton and a bit of plastic. Exclusive of trimmings, lovely. Matalan, great. I'm gonna try that on in a moment. And then I've got two other things. I've got this belt. So I thought it would be useful for that dress, which was £2 there. And as you can see, it's cut sort of Hessian style, straw, plastic here, not leather. But never mind. Beggars can't be choosers when we're this close to going. And then I got these fitted trousers, £4.50. They were, they're size 14. There was a £3.50 pair, size 12, and they looked a bit long. So I thought, mm, no. And these haven't actually been worn. I think they're sort of old lady style. My favourite elasticated waist tag still on £4.50 little leg length because I'm a little short ass so oh we're always a rocks in there from originally £8 an absolute bargain so anyway let's give those a go
is my Milan City Break Work Capsule Wardrobe. What do you think of this? 24 items in total from tops to jackets to bottoms to dresses. And a few accessories here, a couple of bags, three pairs of glasses, some lovely little earrings, a belt and a scarf and two pairs of shoes. Did you think I did well on my £50 charity shop budget? Obviously, I had a few accessories and bits and pieces from my current wardrobe to go in. But overall, most items have been thrifted. And I think just, yeah, I'm so happy with this beautiful little collection. That top particularly lovely. I really want to mix kind of smarter clothes with the more casual clothes. And I think that will give the best look in terms of being stylish. Love these little shorts shirt dress the pierre cardan everything that i showed you downstairs minus a few things that were just too small and had to go back to the charity shop but overall i'm super pleased with this little capsule it's turned out way better than i thought and 50 pounds i'm essentially milan ready ciao for now